we are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The research vessel Maria S. Mayen has been our home and working place for the past three weeks. The ship is sailing from the island St. Vincent Cabo Verde to Burma Haven in Germany. This is the first Waska floating university. Our master's program and this expedition are part of the UN Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development. We're a group of students from 12 West African countries who are training to become real ocean scientists. Usually when you go out on research cruises, you have uh, many scientists from different research institutions on board and many of them already know how things work on board. The students on board, it's a completely um, different thing because for them it's the first time to be on board on a, on a research vessel or at a vessel at all. Yes, Bjorn is right. By the way, he's a cruise leader. Everything was new for us. We surprised you by adapting quickly. The scientists on board introduced us to the scientific equipment you need to get your samples. For example, we learned from Tim and Andreas how probably the most important oceanographic instrument called the CTD is deployed. The CTD measures temperature, salinity and depth as it is lowered down into the ocean. The grey bottles attached to it bring up water samples from the ocean. The bottles can be closed at a specific depth. Together with Lenny, Matthias, Heino and Henrique, we deployed the multinet to collect zooplankton in different depths and identify the organisms in the lab. We also deployed the catamaran to collect plastic particles from the surface with Eric and Thea. When I was communicating with the winch driver from the control room, uh, windy from Labo, these are some of the things that you, <laughs> I mean, talk and you see the winch driver, uh, I mean, uh, accepting your command and things are being done in a way that scientists do it. It's my first time to see such kind of uh, instruments, the way they are deployed. Before the cruise, I was thinking that I will have more time uh, to have fun, for example. But here, uh, it's important to learn. We are learning a lot from the scientists. You see that we uh, are very very um, so happy that was possible to, 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 to have this year and we wish that we can continue having this uh, opportunity for all our master's students on marine science and climate change in the framework of WASCAL. Apart from learning everything about the scientific work, we also made a lot of new special experiences. When <laughs> the ship is moving, it push me up, bring me down, push me up, bring me down like a baby in hand of <laughs> his mom. <laughs> it was really, <laughs> I think, we have different kind of situation in this life and I think this is my best. <laughs> when you are studying ocean science, it's crucial that you not only talk about the ocean, you want to be close to it and work with it. Many of us joined this master's program because it gives us the opportunity to take part in a real research expedition. We have read enough literature about it. It's a really nice environment which we created here on board with these different groups, with the students on board, with the scientists who already um, uh, went out to sea several times. You can uh, hear a lot at university, theoretical stuff, what you have to do at sea, if you are at sea, but then it's, it's extremely different if you really do it. <laughs> so I, I, that was my experience myself when I started studying and heard, had the oceanography courses and okay, it was, it was fine, but, but then I only got addicted when I went to sea myself. We really learn something about uh, oceanography and during this cruise. Yes, if uh, we were not able to come, I will just say we are half oceanographers, uh, oceanograph uh, scientists, but now we are complete. On a research vessel, you are never alone. 
From sharing cabins to working together to sharing the mealtimes together, no matter what time of the day it is. We will take home the experience of how a group of individuals go together as a team. Mm, it, will, it is good for me because I learn how to manage, uh, how to manage a team, how to coordinate uh, a work with the team. And uh, when you are working with the team also, it helps you to improve yourself. We had opportunity to learn about each other. The scientists I learned uh, a lot, one of which is uh, uh, courage and motivation and having confidence in yourself in whatever you, uh, 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 you are doing. And also sharing experience is one of the things that they, uh, uh, that they encourage. Well, this is science and science you, did, you don't need to hold information. If you want to uh, address an issue, you have to share. So you can see that the Waska Floating University has taught us in many ways. The new experiences have broadened our horizon. I learn a lot, but what I will take a uh, message from this cruise is uh, uh, the plastic uh, pollution. Because uh, I realize that what, uh, what we do what we do on land affects all the marine biodiversity. We want to make a difference. We want to tackle the problems our planet is facing. And we want to communicate ocean science to the public because climate change knows no boundaries. In science, if you want to address uh, uh, problems, you have to collaborate. And working together with scientists and students from West Africa is a catalyst to uh, addressing some of the issues that we want to address. Climate change is affecting everybody. And it, it, it is a, a real problem for us. And if we want to do something to protect our environment and uh, manage it sustainably, we need to, to, to work, we need to study, we need to do research. Today, we finished our last sampling station successfully. We can say that we are proud of our achievements and of the crew of MSM 106. So, let's see what the future will bring for us, but one thing is for sure. For the next opportunity I will have to be on board, I won't, be, I won't look like a beginner. <laughs> I won't look like a beginner, even for seasickness. I won't look like a beginner. And I hope that one day I will work on this kind of ship. Yes, it's my dream. There's no time to relax, everyone has to work.